Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lion Place, the Binding of Isaac Afterworth, plus... Let's do this. Eden runs. Living life. Having a fun time. It's great. We have portable slots. ZDSYLQ27 with the ventricular razor. Did I say we have portable slot? Allow me to apologize. Apparently Verp doubles whatever the last pill you used was. So we can actually use that to create some, some cheesy situations. For example, one thing I'm thinking is like, what if we get Acid Baby? Like, does that not just grant us... Because then, whenever you take a pill with Acid Baby... Let's just ignore the statistical impact of the pills. Whenever you take a pill with Acid Baby, it does damage to enemies, I think. You could just endlessly chain verp pills. I'm just gonna apologize for that sentence, because on the surface it makes no fucking sense. But I believe you could endlessly chain verp pills to just destroy enemies pretty easily. I am gonna take Concussive Tears. It's a small damage increase, but enough that I'm not disappointed to take it. You know, the, the confusion is just a, an added benefit, I suppose. And by benefit, I mean, I don't know if it's a benefit, but it's not necessarily... Um, Bad and 0.58 damage up. I can live with it. Right now, that's like a one sixth increase, which is, I think, acceptable. Um, when really that takes us to the starting damage for most characters, although I'll admit our rate of fire is better than the average starting character. So actually, like, we're looking pretty good from that perspective. I know you're going to ask, how, do, how does it look from a young G's perspective? To be honest with you, I don't know. You'll have to ask one. At best. I guess I could still be called a young G, but I believe that probably once you hit 28, I'm getting into my late 20s. Can I still be a young G? I'm probably just a regular G at this point, if I'm a G at all, which I imagine is highly debatable as well. But, alright, let's not die on the first floor. We have golden bombs. It's the second uh, sequel song to Silver Bells. Silver Bells, Golden Bombs. Unlimited explosive power. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Silver Bells, probably one of my least favorite Christmas songs. I don't mean to insult anybody, except whoever sang that song that's an affront to society. Blow them both up, as far as I'm concerned. This guy first, though, in case we get a pill, like a full health pill or something. I will play a little bit, just, just one play. And then knock him out of the equation here. And you know what that means. Five cents gives us a chance on the next floor to uh, to get something good happening there. I'm stoked. Again, like dailies will eventually show up because we have to do dailies if we're going to um, get the uh, full completion in the game. However, for now, I'm abstaining because I'm having fun. To be honest with you. That was a pretty good haul. Uh, and, and I don't think I want to compromise that right now. Um, if there's a pill in the shop, we might be interested in checking it out right now. So let's go do that. Hopefully we can get enough money to buy a pill and still have an arcade on the next floor. There is a pill. I will blow up the donation machine. It's still it's somewhat healthy. Amnesia. So we could double amnesia. We don't want to do this. I guess you can't... You can endlessly chain verbs. This is a very strange sentence to say. You can endlessly chain verps, but you can't endlessly chain like a tears upgrade or something. Because follow me here. You have a verp p pill. You buy a pill. It's a tears upgrade. You use verp. The verp pill is gone. And then instead of getting a um, instead of getting a verp pill in return, you get the tears upgrade, and that closes the loop. You need another verp pill to make it work. And I'm just realizing after saying verp. And realizing that it relates to pills, the verp is probably like a vomity burp. Is that correct, Ed? I, I like got closer to the microphone as if this was like a congressional hearing or something. Is that correct? Uh, my client has been advised to plead the fifth so as not to incriminate themselves. Um, you know, I've had that. I used to take fish oil pills because I believed that it would make me live forever. That's only half of a joke. But inflammation is the cause of so many diseases, etc., etc. Um, so I was taking these cheap fish oil pills. I was taking like 12 of them a day. For real. And, um... You get these like fishy fish oil burps. Very disgusting. I'm not a good pill swallower, I'll just admit. Like, I don't have to break them in half, but sometimes I will. As long as they're not like gel capsules. Just because, like, I would want to. 
Ob like, if they're just composed of a single powder, then that's fine. If it's a gel capsule, you don't try to, like, dissolve it in water or something like that. You're That's gonna be a bad time, but... Please. Our damage, actually, after that synth oil pickup is really good. Um, what we're looking at right now... on Ooh, that's verb. Uh, what we're looking at is... Unfortunately, we have to basically just avoid taking damage. Actually, now that we have this... A tinted rock that probably will give us a spirit heart and did uh, disregard that. However, you know what we can do here? What if... We use... I was dumb. What if we use Ventricular Razor? Inside of the deal with the devil can we keep a portal there open just in case like I can't imagine a Situation where we would want to do that unless it's related to us not having a bunch of HP not feeling like it's safe for us to take an item It's pretty bad um, But still like if we pop this down here That's not gonna leave us like in the minus realm, right? I think we should be good, so we're gonna take this we're gonna pop it back down. I don't need to use it, I think. We're gonna re-roll these two. We get Sack Dagger for free. And honestly, Dark Bum will probably start to pay for itself, like, nearly immediately here. So we're gonna have you leave. And, um... Little light on HP, no question. But we got Sack Dagger, a Guppy Enabler, and, um... Dark Bum. Oh my god, I almost stepped on the spikes. Uh, Dark Bum as well is gonna be... Potentially like a game winner. Our DPS is already fine, but then the added uh, element of Dark Bum giving us hopefully Spirit Hearts, thank you, um, is extremely valuable. And then Magic Mush here would be pretty sick. Just throwing that out there. Okay, I'll tell you what, we didn't even have a trinket previously. Nothing to hang our hat on, so we'll take this one and feel like we're pretty good to go. Hey, I almost walked on the spikes, but you know what's important? I didn't. Okay, what do we got in here? I mean, verp, little baggy, verp, little baggy, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a wrecking bird. I'm gonna take little baggy. It never is good for us. But I'm gonna try to change that. So every pill that we get, we're gonna test. And if we get, like, placebo verp. Now I'm working it through in my head. If you have placebo verp, you take a pill... And then you placebo the verp that creates that new pill. And then you pop the verp pill. And it should make a verp pill? I don't know. I've said verp so much that it... First off, beyond just being potentially like a, a grotesque phrase, is also like quite good. Quite good? That's not what I meant to say. It's quite uh, confusing. I got mind flooded because I see Dan's message on Skype here. He says, guys help. I can't stop watching cringe videos. And then he linked us to one. I'm not gonna say what it is. It's not an NLSS though. He didn't roast me that hard. Are we on an XL floor? We are. You get, anytime you see like stacked columns of rooms like this, or stacked rows, I guess, you're thinking XL floor. The other way to tell, it's it's very difficult. Uh, certainly for a, a person of my mental strength, it's not easy. You look at the bottom of the screen when you spawn, and if it says Curse of the Labyrinth, you go, oh, it's a Curse of the Labyrinth. But that is an advanced level technique, so definitely like... I would beware. Beware? How do you explain Tim Allen? I would beware of that, is what I mean to say. Infested? Do you have verp infested? I really think you have verp. Balls of steel. Depending on our spacebar item, 48 hour energy. Uh, health up. Tears up. And honestly, like, that might be it. Pills are worse. Than, uh, than cards in most situations. So, certainly I don't take Little Baggy lightly, but I'm trying, like, I'm trying new stuff because we can afford to try new stuff. We're not trying to get anything necessarily unlocked right now, so we can just have fun, which is a, a novel situation to find ourselves in. And I think that, um, at least giving this one run to see how it works is an, in an interesting idea. Dan also, he, when he linked this video, he said, also, skip to 6 colon, and then it's a percentage sign, also known as a modulus 2. And then he did 6 colon modulus 2 again, and then he said 652. 
I'm keeping a running tally. If I have to ex expose myself to this, you guys have to expose yourself to it as well. It's all all's fair in fucking love and war, boys. Well, you know what? I something I hadn't considered. Let's start taking like maximum advantage of our uh, of our ventricular razor. So certainly, well, we're gonna open this as well, but I think we should put a bomb, a uh, button not a bomb, a ventricular razor inside of the mob trap room and then just teleport out. If we can ever get some keys, that would be valuable as well. I tell you this not to expose Dan, but rather just to uh, to show you that despite winning America's second biggest reality TV show, second second biggest non-talent reality TV show, he's just like us. He loses hours on YouTube watching cringe cord videos. I've been there, dude. Catch me outside, how about that? Example. You know, I I am a man just like mall uh, all men. Just like mall men. Oh, you guys don't have the mall men down there yet? It's uh they're a race of uh monstrous beings that are birthed deep from the store uh the stores in a shopping mall that are dying, so you know. American Eagle Outfitters, etc., etc. Don't tell Mathis. Actually, you know, I'm not a stockholder in American Eagle. I don't know how they're doing. I'm not a stockholder in anything, to the best of my knowledge. You got spirit hearts for me? I mean, this is like could be a pretty valuable room. Three spirit hearts. Oh, we got a key! All is forgiven. I'm going to keep moving towards what I assume is the boss, because I might find an item room en route anyway. What do we need on this run? Honestly, like, you're not gonna like me saying this. It's a little cocky, but we actually have everything we could possibly need on this run if the dice rolls go in our favor. So, like, if we're able to get, um, you know, enough red hearts to give ourselves... I mean, getting pretty lucky here, so that's a dice roll so far so good, but... Um, we're getting pretty lucky with, uh, like, red heart drops so that... Dark Bomb is the ability to create spirit hearts for us. As long as we don't get, like, completely shitty deals with the devil, you know, no good items from item rooms, no keys, for example, would also help enable that, unfortunately. Uh, as long as we can avoid that stuff, we should be pretty good to go here. We've got three keys, so we are going to have to backtrack, unfortunately, but... Look at how tanky the champion mushrooms are. That is ridiculous. Probably the dumbest damage I've taken in, in a long time. Explosive diarrhea. Definitely not worth uh, taking with us, but we will take sack of sacks. It gives sacks. We might as well buy a spirit art. Maybe we'll need it. And ghost baby. Just one of the best items in the game. People always ask me. I get recognized on the street constantly. It's really like a once an hour sort of thing when I'm outside. Most of the time I just have my driver pick up my groceries for me. And then, question marks. Sometimes when I'm forced to interact with the general population, people go, NL, NL, and I go, oh, please, throbbing masses, give me a chance. I'm trying to buy some organic quinoa here. And then they go, NL, what's your favorite item in the Binding of Isaac? And I always, always 100% of the time, every single time, tell them the truth. It's Ghost Baby. It's always been Ghost Baby. <sighs> Cricket's body is okay here. It's no Ghost Baby, but it's pretty good. Uh, our range is going to be low, but not that low, actually. It feels like our shots have an incredible degree of sustain based on our, uh, based on the, the shot speed. And the fact that, uh, despite going very slowly, they travel quite far. That was a joke, by the way. I have been recognized out in the wild. One time, somebody recognized me on the Sky Train, which is our version of the light rail. I was coming back from downtown Vancouver. I gave him a mint. I hope you enjoyed it. I've never asked for repayment until now, but times are tough. I'm going to need you to give me that Icebreaker's Mint back. I will not accept an Altoid. I didn't give you a Mint because your breath smelled. It just felt like a good way to break the ice. And that's not just because they were called Icebreakers. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't regret it. I will admit, though, that with my anxiety, after I gave him the Mint, like two hours later, I was like, what if he chokes and dies on it? His estate could sue me. I hope you're still alive and kicking out there. Old bandage. Acceptable. I didn't, cue the comments, by the way. I was the guy who got the mint from NL on the Skytrain. It was poisonous and I died. 
No, I doubt it. I doubt that very much. I, I've triple dog doubt it, to be honest with you. We're headed down here. I mean, we got an HP. Didn't really drastically improve ourselves too much, but the uh, the Cricket's body pickup is good. By the way, I, I shouldn't have even told that story. Because now, if you ever, you know, are unfortunate enough to meet me in meat space, as I call it. Not that I spend much time there anymore, ever since I've ported my entire consciousness to the HTC Vive. But you're going to be like, we're having a conversation. And I'm going to notice your eyes kind of darting around. And I'm going to be like, what's wrong, Jerome? And you're going to be like, can I have my mint now? And I'm, I didn't. This isn't a mint charity. You think I'm just going around giving mints to everybody? I mean, if I've got half a pack left, I got no problem giving you a mint. That doesn't bother me at all. But certainly, like, I don't, I don't exist solely to give mints to people. That's not... This isn't how I go. Dude, I'm telling you, this verp pill is going to work for us. Mm, pills make you verp, 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 verp. Can I get a better pill to verp, verp, verp? I don't know the rest of the words, words, words. So you get the, you know, 2016's greatest, greatest songs. So I use Ventricular Razor at the very least to save us a little backtracking. Which is good because, first off, you know, we're all going to eventually leave this mortal coil, so the less time we can spend doing things that are not really that helpful for us, the better our lives are, well, the better use of our time is gonna be. Bob's curse is okay. The second reason, ooh, the second reason is, um, we can speed up and maybe make it to boss rush. I don't think it's unreasonable boss rush could be in the cards for us on this run. Ah, uh, we need to go back for that sack, unfortunately. Uh, maybe not. Second amnesia pill. Really appreciate it. It's really good. And I, I'll always take these locust items, even though I don't fully understand them. Obviously. Oh, starter deck. Good. It's ruined. It's ruined. Verp. Don't let me go, Verp. Well, that's maybe worth it. What's our other card here? Strength. Dude. I like this. Is this a good use of this? I mean, I think it's fine. Turned out okay. Didn't ruin our donation machine too hard. So where did that Perthrow come from? Ash, you know what? Fine. I don't even know what the other rune was, but Perthrow is the second best rune, even in my opinion. Even if that's Yera, Perthrow might be better immediately, so we'll roll with that and maybe we'll get Yara later or something like that, you know. It's all good. We did get keys, so we actually are set for our item room and shop on the next floor, which is a, a very foreign feeling. Much like eating a traditional Burmese breakfast fish soup called the Mohinge. You're like, man, they don't serve this at Denny's. Or the International House of Pancakes, the Waffle House, Cora's Diner, or any other breakfast-focused chain in North America that I'm familiar with. I used the Magician there just to trim the fat, basically. Get it off of the, uh... Voted off of the island here to vo borrow a little bit of Dan Giesling terminology. Let's grab this, six, Sister Viz. It's gonna be a longish fight. I still think we can make Boss Rush, and I think it is worth taking a chance on it. If it seems like... That's something that is going to be doable for us. We did get a deal with the devil. I hate when you get a deal with the devil on a... Ooh. Ooh. Well, actually, this is a good uh, deal with the devil floor because after we take the item of its Krampus' head, we'll just re-roll it with Perthro, which is beautiful, and we'll get a guppy item. Told you. Necronomicon. Actually, not horrible now. Like, the, I actually think that one of the better design decisions they made for Afterbirth Plus was adding in a book transformation. It's like, I have the book suck. And you very rarely want to use them if you have any other options. However, you've got... Uh... Ooh, there's a teleport card. Not that we need it. Um, you've got the uh, bookworm transformation to sell it a little bit harder here. Uh, the hermit card is not that useful because we can already teleport. I've actually totally missed the fact that we got a growth hormones pick up from the last boss. Which is great, you know, on its own merits. And then is great because... We're getting closer to spawn anyway. We have synth oil, so um, pretty solid. This should be a fairly easy win. Not that Afterbirth plusy, at least not yet, but uh, could get there. So straight up, I think I'm just going to use the Hermit card right now. 
Unless we lose Ventricular Razor somehow. Well, we can just have another one. Uh, D7, there's no dice transformation, so no thank you. Greed fight. I guess we're not even gonna use the Hermit card. Tell you what, just to avoid confusion. I, you're gonna be leaving comments. Did this guy just use a Hermit card to go to the shop that he was already standing in? Yes! Because there was already a Hermit card outside. And what I, what I want to avoid is me being like, Oh shit, I need to get something to finish this floor. Let's go back. I left a tarot card on this room. We go all the way back, and in going all the way back, we, you know, miss Boss Rush, and then we go, oh, it's just a tarot card. Or, sorry, it's just a Hermit card, right. Now, one solution to that would just be smarter. But uh, that has not worked out for me in the past. As a result, I'm trying not to tempt fate here. Certainly, if we can make it into the boss rush, we will... Ooh, that's pretty good. If we can make it into the boss rush, or uh, if we can make it into the boss room, we will make it into boss rush. Assuming that we don't make it into, like, you know, 1957 or something like that. That would be weird, right? It's 2017 right now. How did I get teleported 60 years back into the past? Is this some sort of movie plot or something that's happening right here? Hey, excuse me, sir, can you direct me to your closest internet? Well, I ain't never heard of the internet, but I run a humble malt shop here, and as long as Dwight Eisenhower is president, I think America's looking pretty good. Think of all the opportunities for hilarious misunderstandings that we could get in. I don't really want... I mean, I've already been to the item room and the shop, so I don't really feel a strong desire to leave the entire floor. Just try that. Oh, and we want both of these, like, without a single doubt in my mind. We got them without taking... <gasps> Ooh, that was close. We got them without taking uh, any damage, which is awesome. I, I forget Sharp Pencil. Daddy Long Legs is fine, but Sharp Pencil is novel. So let's take that. Lead Pencil, whatever. He's a bleeder. I still don't... I think it's one of these items that's, like, not that hard to remember what it does, but I just don't remember what it does yet. We'll see. I'm assuming when you get hit, it does something. So I'm a uh, little low on HP. Curse of the Unknown is a frightening prospect, but uh, I could use a little fuel myself and we could... Ah, wait, 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 wait. Enemies... Explode? <laughs> wait, 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 I gotta figure it out. Enemies seem to be exploding. Occasionally, we'd shoot a bunch of blood out of our face. I mean, that seems all right. I'm not sure if that's augmented by Cricket's body, or if this is just how this item always is, but... It's a little weird, but I guess I'm, I'm mostly, like, for it, I suppose. Yeah, it's occasionally, it's doing a lot of damage. So, we're, we're light on our own HP, but this is a great floor for the potentiality of us having to deal with the devil. Especially because we knew where to go, this is... Pretty good situation. We had to kill Mama Gertie fast. The less of those attacks we had to survive, the better. Um, sure, Pulse Worm is not amazing, but it's not horrible. And we get the Hermit card, which we do not care about. I'm going to use the Sun card immediately, because full health means nothing to us with one red heart. It may eventually, but it does not right now. So, the sun. just use this right here, and then uh, basically send a bomb across. Which is allowing us to get two of hearts, which is... Even less useful, honestly, but there was no real excuse to pop that one, so that's, uh, that's on me. Pulse Worm, not useless, but, like, really only affects our, uh, our hitbox. Not particularly amazing, but I'm, I have faith that we will get another card, uh, in the future that could work out well for us. So this is my new approach to this room, is especially with mapping, I'm bombing my way through. We haven't all- oh, I forgot you were invisible. Um, we haven't always bombed our way through successfully, but... Oh, beautiful. Without getting hit, I should say, but... Um, when it works, it works. And the lover's card was very nice there. Remember that time we had the verp pill and we were under the false pretense that that was how our run was gonna go? We were gonna actually be able to use that pill to do something cool? I popped algae's by accident when I meant to hit E! It's all right. I smell another Algis rune coming here, and it smells like victory. Okay, I can barely see Mom's tears, which I guess means that I am a wonderful son. 
Uh, and in here, I will take one deal. Shade. Don't really love that. We could try to take the other item, but that would be idiotic. Even too idiotic for me to think is applicable. And... Dark Bomb refuses to enable us. Okay, so we're just gonna take the Cathedral Path. I think we have every possibility of success. We just need to not completely squander this. Okay, so this is like borderline exactly the same situation. If somehow we can get like a lover's card out of this guy. Chocolate, no. Oh, wonderful. Then I might be uh, more invested. I would like Dark Bomb to pick that up and then I'm going to escape. Awesome. Okay, so Ventricular Razor, like, straight up. I underrated this item forever, and I feel bad, because I think that this is actually one of the best items in the entire game. One of the best active items, at least. It doesn't necessarily give you a win, but if you've got the win, um, it makes the win that much more easy to enable. I mean, Whipworm, our shot speed is pretty bad, but I don't necessarily consider that a big negative in and of itself. But Pulse Worm's not doing anything for us except visually confusing my brain, so... Sure, we'll take that and rewind it back. Ursher got the shit to make your booty go smack. World card lets us come up here. World card. And we've got a dice room, which is excellent. This is like the ideal dice room setup, because we're... Okay. We're in a, uh, a good spot, but not such a good spot that we're like, you know, if, if we lose this run, I'm gonna be very sad. And by lose, I mean, like, you know, literally, this run will no longer exist. We're going to have a new permutation of items. So, I'm not going to feel uh, despondent if that happens. We've got enough keys for it as well. So, uh, this could ruin our whole run, or it could make our whole run. Maybe the real run was inside of us the whole time. Are you telling me we're some, some kind of run? That doesn't, that one doesn't work. I tried to, uh, I tried to extend the meme. No such luck yet. So, it was a five room. I'm just gonna tell you straight up that this is not the floor where I like to get a, uh, a five room. Any other floor, like almost literally any other floor, I'm okay with. I'll do it. I'll take it. I'll play ball. It doesn't bother me. On this one, not really interested. Um, just because... Oh, right. Cricket said. <laughs> Or Cricket's body, sorry. Uh, just because there's not really any payoff for us to have to go through a fairly difficult floor and get no items out of it in all likelihood anyway, so. Please, uh, Alges, two keys. I said Alges, but you might have been confused when I said Alges and thought that I said two keys. I suppose that that's something that could happen. As unlikely as it seems. We're good. And actually, like, as much as I would love to uh, be aggressive here, and I mean, I would really love to be aggressive for a couple of reasons. One is that it, you know, be like, be aggressive, be -e aggressive. Just one girly at the tourney, and it's kill or be killed. The dungeon master is the bastard known as Pliny the Ill. But, ah, you get the idea. Um,. Double this up. Uh, I don't. I chose not to be that aggressive on him in the end there because uh, we just can't afford to lose HP, especially if we don't gain any here. Someone in chat just said, "Hey, Kate, just wanted to say I love you and your boy and Alan. The content you guys put out, you are very talented entertainers and very cool individuals. Never change. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'm not streaming right now. It's a minor miracle that I even saw the message to begin with, but I appreciate it. Sulfuric acid." Slight damage upgrade, otherwise worthless down here. Bomber boy, sack of pennies. These are not exceptional. SMB superfan is good. Was it worth losing permanent Polaroid invincibility? Sure, why not? Uh, analog stick. Mo down Joe on Twitter told me, don't disparage it. It's an it's a tiers upgrade. And there it is. As long as you're not at the tier cap, I suppose. Uh, I don't really want number two. And ventricular razor could solve us. Um, some backtracking related issues, but I think we just roll magic fingers. Now, Ventricular Razor has done wonderful stuff for us, and I'm sorry to see it go, but the time was right. It was actually like a pretty not amazing haul of, uh, of justice there. I'm just gonna say, oh, we did find a secret room thanks to Acid Tears, Sulfuric Tears, sorry. 
Uh, Johnny was a chemist, but Johnny is no more. What Johnny thought was H2O was H2SO4. <laughs> okay, tell that one to your chemistry teacher. He'll give you extra credit. It's the only thing that joke's good for. All right. Wow. Long has it been considered the impossible conundrum to mix chemistry and humor. Dare I say, you've achieved it admirably. The Nobel Prize goes to... I will use magic fingers. Dude, sharp pencil's actually doing wonders when it hits. Yeah, this is where we use uh, magic, uh, magic fingers. Steam sale means everything is free. Ace of clubs doesn't really matter to me. We're just gonna use this as like a, a damage add-on. Yo, that's, yeah, I was gonna say there's two of these fuckers. Real close together, like. Not quite, I mean, like, 7.87 damage is not bad. In fact, it's quite good. But, uh, it's not quite enough to be, like, excited about Magic Fingers doing anything for us. But, we also are taking no damage on, uh, or have taken no damage so far on the chest. So, far be it for me to start complaining about how this run looks. Uh, and, you know, the Empress will synergize appropriately with that as well. Probably. The Emperor, it's like substantially even better. Let's do this. I'm ready. We put in our time on this run. Mind you, it wasn't really that much time, but we put in our time on this run. Ignore the vigorous tapping in the background. Throw down a bomb. We're gonna be good to go here, basically. Yeah, Bomber Boy did a ton of damage. Alright, fun run. A little... Okay, never mind. We're not done. We're gonna be going through the void portal. And of course I'm gonna go through the fucking void portal. Well, 31 minutes into this run, what kind of person would I be if I went through this and said, you know what, we're done. I'm not doing this anymore. Now, if I find delirium... Actually, now that I think about it, we probably just doomed ourselves, and I'm okay with that. Because you saw us get the traditional win. However, this run, at present, doesn't really strike me as the, the easiest one to beat Delirium on. And we have no respawns, so it's perhaps... Um, perhaps we've doomed ourselves. And to be honest with you, again, I'm okay with it. I'll live with it. Maybe we'll get lucky. I mean, again, if we just go to a couple of boss fights before um, the Delirium fight, maybe pick up a little bit of HP, a little bit of damage, who knows? Trick on this room. If you have the damage, this room's not so bad. You just try to bait the uh, enemies into jumping closer to the center, I think. Look at me talking as if I know Isaac and stuff. Um, you know, you get all the enemies to jump into the center. Then after they get there, you move backwards. And should be able to kill a few before life becomes too tough. Death card. There's just death cards down here. Honestly, a pretty good card for um, for the uh, the void floor. Batteries. Batteries. Batter waffles. These guys have got to go. There's like almost no better use for magic fingers. Thank you. Red hearts would also be nice. Lover's card. High priestess. High priestess is fine. Any chance we can get over there? Like this way? No? Okay. How about here? Well, we could maybe get magic mush. We did not get magic mush, but it's, you know, the thought that counts. A little lazy, but I'm I'm sick of these dead ends, man. Wait, did I? I did hear a secret room down here. It's an error room. And then actually, dim bulb strikes me as an exceptional trinket. Yeah, that's a DPS upgrade. Um, certainly, I would say we do not need whip worm right now, so. Getting to 9 damage is actually pretty good. Again, synergizes with, uh... Synergizes with magic fingers, too. Okay, those shots came in a little hot, but... I'll give you the benefit of the doubt as you... Rid of, wrote a formal apology, and we'll consider it even here. It's a chest. Gotta remind ourselves, chests don't always have items, unfortunately. 
Um, we got Empress, High Priestess. Good enough to take into a boss fight. I, I guess there's no boss fights on this floor, though. You guys can stop watching the video, because we're going to be trapped in this purgatory forever. They've decided, you know what was really slowing down those void floors? Boss fights. What if we just got rid of those in favor of uh, Carl's Jr.? Anything. Anything. Tower card. Hermit. Tower. Okay, when I said anything, the implication was like anything good. I'm not trying to ruffle your feathers or anything like that, but at the same time, I thought that that was relatively self-explanatory. Like when, you know, you're a guest in someone's home, and they're like, what do you want to drink? And you say anything. And they say, oh, I brought you some battery acid. That would obviously be patently ridiculous. Okay, we got 99 uh, Bomber Boy Bombs. Again, pretty potent. Empress, High Priestess, that's what we want. Please, I'm begging you. I have a family. Let me go to the boss fight here. Any boss fight, just to remind me that there is a boss fight on these floors. Oh my god, we found one. It's not Delirium. Bad damage, and actually we haven't gained any HP, or much HP, so... Should slow your roll on that. Empty Vessel is a lovely pickup. Now we have gained some HP. And we'll just get the fuck out of there. I'm not... Oh, that was bad. I'm not sure if I want to fight Delirium right away, or if I don't want to fight Delirium ever. It would be good to have more HP, I guess, to, to make it happen. And, you know, that'll do it. Or we could, like, get Guppy's Paw. I know it's already shown up, so it's never going to show up again. But that's, like, the perfect item for us right now. Because we can get the flying and invincibility from Empty Vessel and really put a number on them. Speedball is beautiful. It gives us Spun and the Tower, which we just continue to basically erase from existence here. Um, we're up to 10 damage. We'll be able to do 10 damage 30 times, 35 times. Uh, against Delirium, if we made it to the boss fight right away. Thanks, Acid Tears. Really appreciate that. Can't even see if there's consumables on the ground anymore. Loki. All right. Well, again, the more the merrier when it comes to boss fights before, um, before the uh, Delirium fight. Converter doesn't do much for us unless we think. Ooh, getting closer to Bookworm. Unless we think that we can. Uh, Maybe, like we'd almost, we'd rather have the inverse of Converter. Some kind of Reconic. I was trying to say Converter backwards in my head, but I don't, to be honest, I don't have the RAM for it. Um, more exploration. Lover's cards are beautiful right now. Oh, the sneezing is real. Here it comes. <laughs> I told you, I warned you, and what did you say to me? It was just like Dennis Quaid in The Day After Tomorrow. You said sneezes aren't real, you're being alarmist. It's not true. Mere hours later, storm was creeping visibly across New York. Everyone had to hide in the public library, and Jake Gyllenhaal and Emmy Rossum had a budding romance. Bilbo Baggins worked in Greenland or something, I can't remember. That movie was not that good. I think we want double strength. Because even if it's not the best DPS upgrade, getting two extra HP uh, is nice. And we also have uh, Old Bandage. So beyond getting the two extra HP, we actually gain two extra chances at getting even more HP in the future. So throw a poison bomb down. Oh, you can't bomb your way out of these rooms. That's understandable, but annoying. Please. The run should have been over like eight minutes ago. You f oh, fuck. <laughs> Can't get to it anymore. You forced my hand. Delirium, there we go. Okay, strength, strength. And straight up. Get crushed, buddy. Get crushed. That's two hits I'm not really pleased with. Alright, now we can start fighting him for real. Now that we've gotten a major head start, we've taken off almost fuck all of his HP. I cannot see the bullets anymore because the shots just ricochet back towards me. I should never have taken my reflection. Did we just kill part of Delirium? Do I gotta say, 2.96 luck? Old Bandage is not really killing it for us right now. 
Holy Christ. Dude, do we not have shielded tears? Am I losing my mind? I thought we got shielded tears in our first item room. This run has gone on for so many distinct phases. I'm, I'm losing it. Okay, anytime you're able to do easy damage like that, you should be extremely thankful. Again, I have no idea which tiers are mine and which tiers are Delirium's. Pretty much, this is like, the run can do whatever it wants. If I get hit, I get hit. Like, I tried. We won! And it was good. Like, it was actually a pretty easy Delirium fight in the whole scheme of things. We played badly and still succeeded. Um, but that's gonna do it for this episode. It was a weird one. It was a fun one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.